Hello guys, Lincoln Parks here and I want to thank you for joining me today. We're going to be talking about email autoresponders. Uh, this is a really, really uh, great topic for any new internet marketer or network marketer to be looking into. And my preferred resource is MailChimp. I don't know how many of you guys are using MailChimp. Um, I used to be on a previous um, autoresponder system, but I decided to switch over to MailChimp and I am never going back anywhere ever again because this um, program here is um, I believe one of the best programs on the market right now and for the free service guys you get a ton of stuff you can store up to 2,000 subscribers send up to 12,000 emails per month no expiring trials no contracts no credit required look I mean it all speaks for itself you can go and take a look at that information yourself I want to get this video out to you and provide you some content and get you going a lot of you are probably gonna be asking how do I tie this um, autoresponder in we're gonna get to that we're gonna get to that probably in another video but this video is just strictly for going over uh, MailChimp so I'm gonna log into my account here guys you're gonna see um, yes, people do unsubscribe from my list. I don't know why, but they do. I might not be as exciting, but um, they unsubscribe from my list. But I want you guys to just take a look at some stuff here in my list. I have uh, quite a few um, campaigns going right now. Let's see. It's a couple lists here that, that I'm creating that I have created. Let's look at... Um, the first thing let's do this let's go into campaigns right so we go into campaign first thing you want to you're gonna want to do is create a campaign so creating a campaign pretty much is uh, just setting up a, a, a mailing list or let's do this let's create a list first of all so let's go through and create a list you log in you create a new list click on create list you you name this list something let's say uh, sample list or whatever you want your list in the name um, and then it's gonna come from you know the from email it's gonna come from you it's Lincoln Parks um, you can reply to Lincoln at parks.com okay the default subject welcome to my list um, then you can go ahead and choose uh, you can say you're receiving this monthly newsletter because you signed up at lincolnparks.com or whatever you want to do um, I'm just gonna choose the default here and I think this one is Lincoln Parks okay um, it's gonna automatically have your address that you use to sign up with um, you want to get email when people subscribe or when people unsubscribe you want to get those emails I usually like to, to know when someone unsubscribes it's no big deal to me um, it's gonna happen to everybody don't take it personal um, and you allow people to, to they can check HTML plain text or mobile um, and you can read up on some more on that so go ahead and save that once you save your list you have created a new list here now you can add people to this list automatically now doing this you need to make sure you have permission from people to do this do not do this just to spam people um, you want to make sure that you have their permission and you've talked to them say there's an offline method maybe you were at a conference or you had something you got some business cards and you told them hey I want to add you to my list is that okay if they say yeah you go ahead and come into this section where it said let's go back here for a second you go to your your list all right, you click on list, you go to your list, here's your sample list, and then you click add people. When you come in here to add people, you add their email address, first name, last name, choose that. This recipient has given me permission to add him or her to my MailChimp list. Guys, I'm going to tell you with MailChimp, they do not play with this. If you are spamming people, you will be shut down immediately okay so let's make sure we're ethical when we do things and we're doing things the right way so that's how you add a member to your list so now what you want to do after that is you're gonna want to go in and actually create a form for your list um, or you can start to create a campaign but let's create a form so that because on our website we're gonna have a form where people go in and sign up right so you go into forms um, this is most likely going to be a sign up form, right? So you have your sign up form here. It automatically pre populates with all this information. If you don't, look, if you don't want some of this information, you can take it out.